What's up, bro? We What's going on? My oh, damn, hold on. <coughs> You're right. I forgot my headphones. Let me nah, I don't want to I. I forgot mine was hooked up. What's up, T? Rhyme and reason. And T, where you been at, T? We talking, we be talking trash about you in the group chat, and you don't be responding. So, <laughs> I think he, uh, they stole his page or something. I said, yeah, dude. I still, I mean, I guess we just add him back. Whatever, let me get it back. Who's supposed to be coming on? Or no bother. Yeah, Tasha right there. Tasha underscore the creator. Request, uh, Tasha. He like can't talk trash about me. I'm out the way. <laughs> What was it's cool. It? Put, oh, you. I know it, was find it was it's some forty nineers fan. Yeah, I know where to find them. Especially when the game is on. I know where you're gonna be at with them uh, margaritas. So don't stop. <laughs> she ain't requesting me yet. You stressed out, Red? Oh no, she's trying. No, you know my oh, hand okay. is kind of I'll be trying to uh I'll be trying to uh, just get my hand strong. Strong. Anybody want some money on the Super Bowl? I didn't. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared to bet, even though my homes in the one. And I could have really, I could have really kicked up because I was still with them, even when they was losing. If I would have went and put like a hundred on them when they was losing, that's when you went like a thousand. But my my, <laughs> I didn't really believe it. <laughs> if you could have disclosed that information while I was sitting right in the same room with you, I'd have been like, yeah. I, would have, I was sitting there, and I was thinking about it, but you heard me tell T, and I'm like, uh, hey, yo, and them, it ain't over. I'm mm. like, it's not over. It's it's still, they was, you know, it's still going it too. on. They was faking. Oh, they was faking. <laughs> they was faking. Especially when uh, Philly went down to score for it. They was faking, huh? I don't think that happened. It worried. Yeah, yeah, Tasha. You gonna have to go to the phone. He like check on Voye. Nah, for real. I ain't heard from him, seen him post nothing. Voyager. Yeah, he was going to the games and stuff. I think he was at the game. I'm not sure. If he went to the game, I'm sure he ain't make it back. He done mm -hmm. jump. Yeah. Heartbroken. I called my little brother today. I was like, yeah, you, you all right? I'm just, you know, checking on you because I love you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. make sure you good. <laughs> yeah. Somebody sent me a picture of their son laying in the middle of the floor with his eagle jersey on. <laughs> I said, is he crying? She was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, tell him to suck it up. <laughs> well, I don't know if y'all thought it was guaranteed or something. I don't know who they thought they was playing. Slim got robbed with a plastic cup. <laughs> that was the highlight of my night, wrong. man. That was, just, that was. You still instigating it since the day. <laughs>
No, nah, y'all was instigated. We instigated it. As a unit. <laughs> I, me, you, I did not. You, the whole house. I did I did not <laughs> instigate it. I did not instigate it. Yeah, Tasha, you're going to have to set your phone up. We waiting for one, one more person. Let's go. Let's just start it. And when she join, she jump in. Jump in. Okay. Oh, let me see my. There she go. See? When you send that little thread out there. <laughs> Everything's all working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, know, you gotta throw that that threat out there. Then that's when stuff, stuff gets to happen. That threat of missing out. Like, like you always say, Red. People don't understand when you being nice. You gotta be a little mean. You understand? <laughs> you. Nobody don't ever understand when I'm mean either. <laughs> hey, the beautiful <laughs> the Natasha, the creator. How was everything? Great, 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 great. Okay, that's what's up. Of course, we got ganged up. T, how your weekend was ganged up? Was good. Eventful. It was nice. They said, they said you was promoting some fights. I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Move back from the camera a little more so we can see your old face, see? For me? Yeah. Yours seemed to, yeah. 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 Oh, I no, see I know you It's this dag on um, stand. Like, I got... <sighs> Yeah, because it's cut off. It's cutting. It's, all we can see is your eyebrows on down. That's there better. Yeah, yeah. So y'all know what it is. It's the Homeboys Conversation and Collaboration with Disaster Dating 101. How y'all doing out there? You know, before we start, I want to hear about the event. How did the uh, live podcast go? Ah, you made your your very own camp when you call the disaster dating one on one. That's what's up. How uh, was it? Great. Uh, th thanks to everybody who actually came. Um, I know a couple of people saw the event on Instagram, and so they did come from what they saw off of Instagram. We did a live recording. We decided that we are going to do season four at. CNG Luxury Candles. So in April, giving you a heads up now. We don't know the date. Heads up to you. But in, in April, uh, we will be recording the entire season four. So we'll break it off in two segments, a day segment and a night segment, where everybody will be there and we'll just record this uh the segments there. I'm gonna be honest. This that is the only month that I know right now. That I have no plans of going that's nowhere. That's the only month for all of us. <laughs> I have no plans. Every other month, I got plans. I'm literally going out of town this early. Like, I got plans up into all the way. I skipped April, then I'm back into May where I got plans of going out of town. So, that is literally the, the only month that I'm free. So, I'm going to, whenever y'all come up with the dates, if you give it to me ahead of time. The last, the second to last week in April. It's not guaranteed, but that's what we're looking at. Last week in April. So yes. Okay, T, are you are you down to be where the podcast at? Yeah. Can we make it? Yeah, okay. It All was, right. So you got you got two confirmed. With the homeboys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> homeboys, I think it's time for the homeboys to be on the podcast. Do you think T? I think it's time for us to show up, the, I'm <laughs> show up on the podcast. <laughs> Raise our hand. Yeah, the homeboys. We're going to have to get another shirt made, but we can have our shirts on. Yeah, we, it's time for us. <laughs> okay. So um, let's get right into it. Um, the first topic was the one we had on the flyer. Uh, a man stole his woman's $10,000, went and placed that $10,000 on a bet and won a hundred million dollars. I don't, I think before he, she knew it, he returned the $10,000. She found out about it and she suing them for $40,000. 40 I'm gonna million. start with 40, you, $40 million. 40, 40 million. million, no, no, no. She, she, she feel like she should get 40 million. 
So I'm going to start with you, Tasha. How would you have responded if you found out that your boyfriend stole his money and made a hundred million dollars off of it? I'm suing, just like her. That's my money. <laughs> you put money out my money. So I'm suing. That's my money. Don't just give How me much? interest and in whatever you made, a percentage off of what you made. Did you freeze, Ray? <laughs> I think he did. I'm thinking he like listening to you. And when you stopped, I'm like, oh, why are you still sitting there like that? I think he froze. Well, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um, if 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 your girl took ten ten thousand and however much she made, what would you do? If my girl stole ten thousand and she placed a bet and made a hundred million, that's my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> Elder, I'm not even thinking about her taking that money. You know why would I? Why would I fumble the bag like that? Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm gonna be the best guy ever. We get married immediately, and she's paying for the wedding. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well let me let me ask y'all this: What if, what if it was y'all who done it? How would you have like? Let's say Tasha. Let's not say you stole it. Let's say he gave it to you to hold, and you decide to place a bet with it. Let's say let's not even say a bet. Let's say you say you know what? I'm gonna put this on a stock, and the stock. Bought and you make a hundred million dollars, and you say, "Hey, you know uh, what happened to that ten thousand dollars?" How would you reply at this point? Hey, Stacy. Um, so I made the money, and now he asking about the money or whatever. Yeah. I won the money, so I would play it real nice. After I won that money, I ain't saying nothing about me winning no money. Somehow, <laughs> I'm so dirty. The next three months, and <laughs> I paid out of that. That relationship. And then hey, why would you do that? Hang on. You see what I'm, saying? I'm out. That's your dude. Why would you do that? You were just uh -huh. loving him. You were just loving him before he gave you the told you home. We ain't gonna be loving no, each other no more. Yeah, if he's smart like me, we will. He's gonna murder you. He's not gonna stay. Listen, if she if she if she used my ten thousand dollars and I asked why my money and she say well I took it and I invested it in the stocks and I the return was a hundred million dollars I immediately forgot that she took this ten thousand dollars and I feel like I gave you the ten thousand dollars you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm glad I gave you that money to invest that's how I feel that now me yeah. you up a hundred million I yeah. take that and I and I love oh, her you. even more I I'm gonna say you know what I knew that's why God sent you to me because you smart. I would have been so stupid with that money, but instead you went and did that. And now look at us, we flourishing. That's yeah. tight, man. Um, let me let me say this. First of all, if I gave a woman a hundred thousand, oh, she stole a hundred uh, uh, ten thousand from me and put it in the stock market and made a hundred thousand. That's my whole hundred thousand, hundred hundred million. That's my whole hundred million. I, I don't. I'm not suing for half. I'm not suing for forty percent. I, you would not have had a dime. I don't need to I'm suing for everything because that's all my money. That's now if she gave me the ten thousand, <laughs> if she gave me the ten thousand and I won, dang, I'm trying to figure out if I I would have let me say this. I would have I would have let her knew I want some money. I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't have gave her no 40, 50. I would have gave her like a couple of million. For she, I'd be like, man, I, I want some. Hey, you know, here, take this two million. She's not gonna question nothing else. If I gave her two million, she's not gonna question anything else. Because when I read I'm it, saying. I said I'd get. I said I'd give her one million. So you gave her. But that's what I'm million. saying. Yeah, but but I gotta I gotta do something to kind of like keep her off my tracks. Keep her off my tracks. <laughs> I lie. If he I'm find a, out. Like you said, he gonna want all his money back. I, but I, see, I, 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 you, listen, if I feel like if I feel like I'm gonna lie to her about the money, then I know I'm gonna break up with her. So I'm gonna say I want two million, give her a million, 
and then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be gone. So if she mad, I'm not gonna do that for her to get mad at. I won't be around. My plan was to leave after that. Thanks, Josh. We know that you giving up all the minds, but yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm. Uh, uh, it all depends. But if I won that that hundred million, I'm a break. I gotta. I gotta think about this. Think about you literally gave somebody ten thousand dollars, and they like, look, I'm gonna be honest. I I did X Y Z with it, and they hit you over two million. You're not gonna care what they doing with the rent. You're not gonna even care how much it is. You just happy you made two that two million dollars. I don't care what nobody say. Ain't nobody else questioning. Well, go ahead. What they say in the comment? Nothing. They just joining. I ain't lying. They ain't saying nothing. They just joining. Oh. Oh, she oh I, ain't I ain't telling tell nothing. Tell her nothing. Simmons, yeah, yeah. She, she, I ain't telling nothing. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, join it. Okay. Now. Okay. So uh it's it's anonymous, what's the name quote? But I'm gonna just say lady man. So a young lady was dating a guy for about 10 months and her house caught on fire. The guy she was dating was, you know, welcoming and said she can stay. Um, she had insurance, got the house redone, actually better than it was. But during the year that she, almost year, says that she stayed with him, he had custody of his two twin boys. She felt like it was a madhouse. She felt like it was rough, this, that, and the third. She realized, like, the house was really tore down. The guy was actually renting the house, and the owner's final straw is when the boys actually broke something else. They end up telling them they about to, they about to fix the house up and sell it. Um, the guy goes to his girlfriend and basically let her know, like, hey, is it possible we can stay here to I find another place? The woman basically said, no. I would allow you to stay, but your boys can't. She says they're too rough and you can't handle them. You're going to have to allow them to stay with their mother for the time being. But you are welcome because you allow me to stay in there. I'm going to just ask y'all, T, how would you feel about that? Do you feel like she has justification of bringing kids in her house when she felt like she just got it redone about, you know, about six months ago? <clears throat> well, after hearing everything you said, I don't think she's wrong because she said he can stay because what he did for her. Now, if she wouldn't, if she would have just been like, no, you can't stay, you know what I'm saying? All the, like, none of y'all can stay. Then I would have been like, damn, but. You know, he lets you stay, but she said he can stay, but the kids can't. I wouldn't want them kids staying in my house neither. That's why he got to be <laughs> in the house he in, because he <laughs> tore it up. So why would I let mm -hmm. them come here? You know what I'm saying? They can go with their mother, like she said, until you find a place. That's that. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Okay. Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have two kids, Tasha. Let me hear this. <laughs> Them some bad kids because of, <laughs> because of the kids, and I would I I agree with T, but then I know even seeing in the comments, I'm like, if we together, I would say like, look, get your boys under control. They can come, but as soon as they mess something up, you can say, but they gotta go because you know your kids bad. And they're not messing up my house that I just got redone. And I leave it like that. And as soon as they break something, they out. But listen. I, I'm not <laughs> I, no, because I had an ex who had a kid. So she, you know, the little girl, when she came for that, she would come for the summertime. So I know how it is when kids are uncomfortable. She was a good kid. She didn't break nothing. But I know some people with some bad kids. Like some <laughs> kids, and yeah, ah, my daughter used to be the one nobody wanted to watch. So I, I understand when people be like, "Look, you got <laughs> gotta go." I've been kicked out of many places because of my kids, well, my daughter. So I understand. I refuse to walk around my new house feeling like <laughs> I'm uncomfortable because I know I really don't like these kids for real, and I gotta watch them <laughs> in. I got. Like Act like I like them and all this stuff. No, I'm not doing that. I like how she did it. Nip it in the bud at the door. Listen, they not coming, okay? That's just it. They not about to mess up I my don't, I, I don't think it's a like of the kids. I think it's just control that the father don't have. 
Like, you know, when it's, but I think it's like when it's my own space and I got my kids over and I just let them run free is one thing. So I, I feel I'm, I'm in between of both what y'all saying because I, can, I felt like what Tasha said, like, look, I'm going to allow them to come in because I don't have a problem with the kids. I have a problem with how reckless you allow them. So if you want to bring the kids, then I need you to monitor this. I'm going to be honest. Um, I had an ex. I only I lived with one woman, and her daughter wrote on the furniture one time. And I literally was like, like hey, I didn't say nothing to her daughter, and I could have. But I didn't want her daughter to feel like I was coming down on so I told her, hey, point that out to her and have her clean it up. By the time I came home, she had her, like, what's her name and stuff. But I would have, I, I think I, I, I just need, me having kids, I would have just needed as a parent to say, hey, like you said, I'm going to give you a shot because of what you've done for me. But I need you to keep your kids under control. You just got kicked out of the house because you didn't. So if you can agree, I need, you, I need to see that you agree. If you can agree that they are a handful and kind of reckless where you're going to stop paying more attention to them, then I can agree for them to stay here. But if you're like, they're not really that bad, that stuff was already broken. Like, if you're still taking up for your kids' bad behavior, I can't, I can't deal. And I'm like, I disagree nah. with y'all. I disagree yeah. with both of y'all. I don't, don't like y'all answers. Out of kid. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> listen, the the chance that they got was when they all stayed together at his house. That was their chance. But, that was their first impression, and they failed. But, but some people, like you said, Reggie, some people don't care. They will let their kids run around and not think nothing of it. And some people don't understand when their kids do come to other people's houses. Because, like, my daughter was a whiner, so she wasn't bad. She just cried all the time. But when we went to other people's house, I'd be like, don't touch nothing. Just sit there. Don't mess with anything because you break it, it's gonna be on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just I don't know. I guess as a as a father, I would I, and if I had my daughter with me and if I needed to stay with a woman that I'm dating, she and I basically let her stay with me, and I needed to stay with a woman, and she's like, ah, little serenity is just a little too bad for me. And I'm <laughs> like, it's me and her. That's my kid. Like if I, I'm I'm like you talk, like I'm gonna have to watch her. But that's that's a little me. I can't I can't be part from her like that. It can't be. I'm just gonna be the bad. I'm just be the bad partner that be like, well, it's just you and her ass on the street. <laughs> hey T, you better not have no kids because I'm gonna literally fuck your kids up just for. I'm gonna have a picture of you. Father father always the day, that bullshit. The day my child born, I'm gonna have a picture of you in my pocket. I'm gonna show my child. I'm gonna tell my child every time they see you, hit you in your nut. Every time. <laughs> Right, what they say like, Josh said she got to go. Rhyme and Reason said that's her prerogative. Josh said they're not a good team. Whole lot. Um, Carletta said, uh, T, she put the smart laughing emoji. And she was like, F them kids. Rhyme and Reason said if the, if the kids didn't have a mom or he had sole custody, then I don't know what he would do. He'd have to figure something else out. Um. And uh, Josh said he agreed with you, Red. Of course you yeah. agree with Red. Punk. <laughs> <laughs> you teased him last night. You stole his money. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ben Simmons. Do you know who Ben Simmons is, uh, Tasha? Ben Simmons is a basketball player. He used to actually date one of the Kardashians or Jenner. One of those. The one of those shit. one that got the baby. Well, one of them or no? No, he didn't have a kid. He was a guy who played for Brooklyn Nets. He used to play for Philly. He was the point guard for Philly. Tall, light skin. All I'm tall, light skin. You just you just report that cup. I ain't seen you pour nothing. I seen it look almost empty. Then next thing, oh, we ain't sponsored by them people. Put that down. No. <laughs> she up there pulling mimosa at nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm tired. I had to take one for the team. This is crazy. This is crazy. Well, we appreciate you jumping on. Okay. Well, Ben Simmons has sued his ex fiance to get his million dollar ring back. Of course, a million dollars, she wasn't trying to get it back. He sued her. So, my question to the panel is this. 
what is something that you could have given your mate after they break up that you would have wanted back? Tasha. That they, they took away from me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I know with my ex when we broke up, I did buy something from him and I, like buy something for him. I can't remember what it was, but I know I was like petty where I wanted to take it. Like I did. <laughs> oh no, I know what it was. It wasn't even something I bought. It was his mom gave us an air fryer. And I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a good guy that go in for She gifted to both of us. And I wanted and to. You like... <laughs> I wanted yeah, Teddy Boo. Air fryer. Like, that's when they first came out and nobody really had an air fryer. I was like this close to taking his air fryer. <laughs> T, what is something? That a person can that you can gift to somebody that after a breakup you want back. Um, to be honest, I don't know because I don't really gift things that I feel like I'm gonna end up wanting to take back. You know what I'm saying? If I if I gift you something, it'll be something that only you probably like. I ain't gonna want it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. If what about a game with my dad? If, if, let, if it was a gift, I guess was, let me okay. let's let's go exactly to what the issue was. If in fact you gave an engagement ring to a woman, and let's say four months later y'all broke up, would you want it back? And Tasha, would you give it back? Is it is it is it a million dollar engagement ring? <laughs> or it's, it's whatever you feel like you can afford. Ring. You was in if it's a, if it's just me, regular me getting this engagement ring, she could keep it. If it's a million dollar engagement ring, I want it back. <laughs> I want it back. If that's the case, Tasha. I'm I'm only going by my state and what the laws are for engagement. <laughs> I'm keeping it. If I can't, I'm still going to try to keep it. I'm not giving it back. If it's a million dollars, I ain't giving that back. Man, let me say this. I, now, a thing that I, if, if I bought a woman a car, especially if I'm paying on it, I would want that back, definitely. If I bought a woman some jewelry, some expensive jewelry, I would want that back. I bought a woman a engagement ring before. Now, we broke up before I had the chance to engage, to, to propose to her. And I told her that I'm glad this, happened before before we got engaged because I would have wanted my ring back. <laughs> like, I literally told her that. Like I said, I would have wanted my ring back. I don't care. So I mean I think I don't care how much the engagement ring is. I want it back. I want it let me say this. Only way I would want my ring back if the engagement lasted under a year. That's when I feel like we we didn't we didn't even we didn't even uh, pass a threshold in order for me to feel like you deserve this. You deserve to keep it. Tasha? When you said car reminded me, I don't think my old co-worker on here, but he used to call this chick he used to work with, I mean, date, he used to call her bankrupt Barbie. And he had, bought, he had co-signed on a car. Uh, like, he had bought a house because he thought that her and her um, kids was going to move in with him. He co-signed on a car for her and then like as soon as he got the house got the house from her cousin was a realtor so got the house from her cousin as soon as he got the house she was like i don't think we should move in together and she she filed bankruptcy and put him as a creditor on the car because you know he is still responsible for the car even Boy. if she payments so she put him as a creditor so he couldn't contact her but he ended up getting the car repo and he like yeah. but he to hunt her down to find out where she lived luckily he knew where she worked at and he repoed the car itself but yep she put yeah. him as a creditor and everything mm -mm. no 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 uh -uh. see that's the problem so i definitely that's definitely something i want back <clears throat> go ahead t what they ain't say what? nothing in the comments? No. I, I, I would have just started saying it after you said oh, go ahead, T. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Lindsay dated a, 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 a guy in college. After about a year of dating, they came to figure out that college was a little too stressful to date, so they broke up. Um, 15 years later, they both live in the same city, reconnected, they were friends. Lindsay was actually married at the time. Lindsay ended up uh, uh, seeing them one time out at lunch with her coworker. Her coworker noticed them, thought he was attractive, this, that, and the third, so she introduced them, not telling her coworker that they, were, they actually dated for a year in college. Um, they, he, she felt like he was a nice dude, this, that, and the third. So she was like, yeah, y'all should, y'all should hook up. Um, three months down in the line, they actually having a real good time dating this that, and third. But she asked him, like, how do y'all know each other? I never even asked that question. And he, him not knowing uh, that Lindsay never told her, he basically said, hey, you know, uh, you know, we used to date for a year in college, this, that, and third. The coworker were, you know, she went back to Lindsay. She was upset. She was like, I thought we was friends. It felt like you kind of like pushed me on this guy. You know, she, she felt like, you know, I wouldn't want to go behind you. And this was a guy that you dated. So I'm going to ask you all. It's probably kind of like a three-part question. One, is there a time limit on exes that you have dated? Two, would you care if a friend of yours would have hooked you up with a woman that they thought was good for you or hooked you up with a person that they thought were good for you, even though they dated? And would you care if they didn't tell you that they're dated? T? Um, I don't know. I think I, I date a woman if if somebody put her put her on with me. You know, so if they think she good for me, I do it. Um, <laughs> would I care if they didn't tell me? Yeah, I care. Like, just tell me. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If not, then you know, whatever. So I care if they tell me or if they don't tell me. And you say, is it a time limit? Is it a time limit on people that you dated in your past? What you mean, a time limit for what? Like a time limit where you feel like. She's it, that person is free game, so to speak. You know how some people feel about their exes to the point where it's like, yeah, yeah, nah, that's you. my ex. Yeah, it, it. I don't think it's a. I don't think the time matters. I think uh, the type of relationship we had matters. So if it was like something super serious, it's always going to matter. But if it was just like you know a fling or whatever, or we got together we tied it out and we ain't mesh good and we just decided to you know let it go then you free game but like i said if it was a serious relationship then it's never gonna be a time where it's, it's <laughs> where you your friend that? will be yeah. it'd be cool for your friend to date them okay tasha i've been in this situation <laughs> we hey we know you've been in this situation <laughs> my, I hooked me up with one of his friends um, Your what? My, Hold up. Repeat that. My ex hooked me up with one of his friends. Well, not a friend. friend was like a co-worker. Mm -hmm. um, dated a guy and, and I'm trying to think how long the space was. I think we dated for about a year like this situation and we were broken up for about six. We hadn't dated six years, but we consistently talked on the phone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just as friends. And he helped me get a job at his job. And when I was there, he saw that one of the guys liked me. And so he was like, you know what? I think he's a cool dude. He was like, I really think you should get to know him, but don't tell him that we used to date. And we didn't. We didn't tell him that, like, we dated. <laughs> he didn't want to go. This is my friend Tasha. Tasha, you know. So, yeah, I've been in that situation. So, do you do you think that was appropriate not to inform this guy? What if y'all have got real serious, like leading down the aisle? Would we, you have felt we, like it was appropriate? I did get pretty serious. Um, I think we, me and my ex, didn't tell anybody that we dated. Because do it was more because of work. Like um, okay. he didn't want people to know how I got the job. Um, then also he was a very private person. So he okay. didn't want like coworkers like 
asking questions about him because he did. He stayed to the cell and nobody knew anything like about him. So that it was more of just he was a private person. Okay. Well, he knows now. Come on out, Johnny. We <laughs> <laughs> was waiting to ask this question. <laughs> Come um, on out. Let me say this, and I tell people this often. I have two kids. Of course, my kid's mother. My kid's, I, my kid's mother uh, and five of my friends are always going to be off limits. I'm never going to think that it's like, oh, that's so cute. Y'all found love. Like, listen, it's millions <laughs> of people in the world find love somewhere else. I do not want to be hanging out my friends like we was at the uh, uh, Super Bowl party and you all like, hey, how you doing? Like, come nah, on. This, this feels weird. This is not the type of program. Now, as far as dating serious, I had a few serious relationships. Other than my kids, my kids' uh, uh, mother, for the most part, I do feel like it's a time for it. For certain people, I feel like after a certain time, um, you know, we dated in high school, or we dated like in our early 20s. I'm 45 now. Even if it was serious, it's like if we dated and we really like separated, then I don't feel like you should be restricted as me. I feel like our, our love or whatever we had should have died and we should be more mature to progress. So I do feel like it's a time for it. Um, would, I have, would I have had a problem if T hooked me up with a woman and he didn't tell me he used to date her? I feel like T, I feel like you should trust me enough to feel like if I'm a do it, I'm a do it. Like you should know me enough and to say, Rez, look, you know, this person is a good per fit for you. This and the third, you know, that's that's why I'm doing. You should trust me enough. I would have a problem if he didn't tell me, because that means you don't trust me to make a good decision, and it's almost like you're trying to deceive me. Like, yeah. So that's that's really where it's at. Um, rhyme and reason say if the person was actually good for me, then I go with it. But I would feel some type of way that they didn't tell me. You agree with me? Okay. That was it. <laughs> no, I, I know. I'm just I'm uh, smoking is, my hookah pen. You know people who <laughs> over and try the yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Or people trying to get ready for the... Uh, uh, oh. Southern Bell said, she just said, it should have been mentioned even a simple statement of, oh, we dated in college many years ago. You don't uh, have to go into details, but it should have been mentioned. Yeah. Do. Trust your friend. Trust trust that situation. Okay. So uh, a, a gentleman met a woman on Tinder. He thought she was nice, this, that, and the third. They went out, and they actually dated for about three weeks. He thought she was amazing. He asked that wonderful question is, why are you single? Like, you are an amazing catch. The woman replied, in all honesty, I want to get this out in the open. Most of my past relationships have failed because I had a issue with cheating. She said, I just haven't been able to stay faithful. And she had cheated on just about every boyfriend that she had. She said that's in her past now, and she wants to move on. My question to the panel is this. Could you date somebody if they tell you that they were serial cheaters in their past? Tasha. Nah, because she was playing game right there. That's the whole <laughs> shit. No, no. If you tell me that, okay, and I will talk to you on the phone. That's it. Nothing past that. I would not see you as being serious or anything. No. If everybody you were with, you cheated on, no. What makes me different? You just, you just met me. No. They're trying to turn a new leaf. Nah. Fuck not with me. Leaves. Fuck them leaves. See? It ain't all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely See? not. Absolutely not. I wouldn't take her serious at all. You tripping. I wouldn't date her. I hit her. I hit her all the time. But I never trust her enough to be with her. Ever. You crazy. Uh, that's just like that's just, that's just like when if you if you mess with a married woman right and you take her from her husband 
or or their relationship messed up and she wanna be with you. I'm not about to be with you. I just you know was humping on you when you was married. You think I think you're not gonna do that to me? Hell no. Nah. I'm in a million. That's what you might think. I'm one of the goddamn go million. Yeah, I'm an right. awesome goddamn go million. Yeah, okay. Let me say this. Let me, let me say this. The person, the person was being honest, so they might want to change the lead. Could I date them? Yes. Would I always be a little suspicious until they make me comfortable? Then yes. I think that's that's where it comes down to. I think I I, I don't think I would just like just say. Nope, I, I can't deal with somebody as honest as you have been about cheating that, that, that you know, I can't deal with it. I think I can kind of overlook it, but I will watch certain behaviors. And if all of a sudden your phone get turned off at a certain time of night and you tell me your phone died, nobody lets their phone die this day and age. I think that's when I will be like, ah. But as long as you don't give me a reason to question you, I wouldn't have a problem. But I don't know what reason. That was yeah. so when she My reason she for questioning it was when you told me. <laughs> they're telling you because they no, want you to trust them. The game. She's telling you because she cheated. <laughs> I, listen, I would have went and found the number two immediately after that conversation. I found another companion just because. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This person, y'all about to mess this person up from being honest and anybody else. No. That's bad. That was, Keep it to yourself. That, you know, that's bad. I would that is like bad. bad experiences with dating. That's it. They, they could that show it. Show, show me. Don't tell me. Just show me that you're faithful. Don't tell me that you cheated on everybody and now you want to be faithful. No. <laughs> Just do what you're supposed honest. to do. Don't I mean, keep it to yourself. Like and you then, wanna be you know, honest. You no. want an honest star. Cause now you don't got my my antennas up, and I'm I'm searching and all that. Now I think everything you're doing is, <laughs> is you cheating and stuff. I don't believe you <laughs> and all that. I'm suspicious now. I mean, I'm getting anxiety attacks and stuff like that. Cause I'm thinking you probably sleeping with somebody else. I'm yeah. picturing it and stuff and. <sighs> No, no, you can't go to ladies' night no more. You <laughs> yeah. ain't going to the <laughs> None of that. Now I'm back. Yeah. Because you were too. Nah. Okay. Oh, uh, Rhyme and Reason said, too tainted, the demon will always be lurking around the corner. <laughs> Southern you know Bell, SB said, you said what? You don't know why they cheated. Like. <laughs> Everybody? But they cheated on everybody. Everybody can't be messing up like that. Everybody could be. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Southerdale said, nope. Laughing out, I agree. She running game with that line. Dude is not special. He will be her next heartbreak. Making him bitter for the I next female. Uh, Twan said, it's just a fun time, not a long time. <laughs> and then the other Twan, you know he always be like the king here. What's up, Twan? Yeah. Okay. Hold up, what was the last statement? Southern Bell. That's, that's too much stress to be worried if a serial cheater has changed their ways that. for you. Yeah. You ain't seen that last statement? Yeah. No, nah, they pop up on mine yet. Me oh. either. Oh, y'all. I'm looking And Ryan Reason just said, oh, like, what work is she actually doing to keep it from happening? Therapy, Therapy? with a question mark. That's possible. Therapy probably was the one who said, you need to sit here and tell these people. <laughs> you need to sit here and she tell like these people the truth. She like acupuncture. What the? <laughs> What's that going to do? Okay. Um, moving right along. Um, I seen a podcast this week, and a woman said that when she dates a guy, uh, one of the first dates she want to go on is to the clinic to see if he actually has something to take blood work together. So my question is to the panel is this. Would you take a first date to the clinic, Tasha? I mean, not the first date. <laughs> How serious we going to be? I mean, like, we, and then you still got to wait for the results anyway. I mean, unless you, you know, get them right away, what you plan on smashing that night, but. Hopefully. Especially if I want to date before the test. I better get some coochie that night. <laughs> I better get some coochie as soon as the results come in. 
But yeah, that's kind of this is terrible. Our, not the first date because I don't know how serious we, we are. Well, how how many dates will it take before he find if he suggests the clinic that you will feel comfortable saying yeah? I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable. That's the thing. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable if somebody asked me, like. But I just feel like like it's kind of awkward. Like, like you know what? Meet me here, and, and we we at the clinic. <laughs> I mean, if if we have a conversation about it, like, hey, you know, this is how I feel. You know, I feel like, you know, if this looks serious to me before I have sex with you, um, you know, I would like to know if we can get tested. Sure, we can get tested. I don't care. Okay. Listen, I'm not okay. So listen, I would I would say if it's more to the date than just the clinic, sure, we can stop at the clinic, get tested. Then we could go and finish our date. But if that's just the date, no, I'll go get tested. But I'm not doing that as no date. But I'll get tested. Just not as a first date, though. Why? I mean, hell no. Mm -mm. But I've done that before. I got tested to get some coochie. <laughs> um, yeah, I got my paperwork. Here you go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know the crazy thing is mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I feel like T, like, okay, like, if T, like, hey, look. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really go out with that guys that might potentially turn into something. I, I feel like we should go to the clinic first. Now, if like you said, once we hit the clinic, we got a table somewhere else, so we head to the movies. Then oh well, like let's go this that, and the third. But for the most part, I don't. I don't really have a problem. I was only asked that one time in a relationship as to a. Uh, is it possible we can, like, go and... No, I don't think she asked me that. I think she asked, hey, when the last time have you had, like, you know, blood work? Is it possible I could see him when I come over to see you or something like... Something in the sort where I was... And the strange thing, I've never been with this woman sexually. And the woman was... I, I didn't feel like we clicked, so I kind of, like, got an attitude about it. I just used it as a reason. Sorry, I was young. This is about... 10, 15 years ago, but I used it as a reason to not keep dating her, and I felt like she's like, oh, whatever, you know, we went out some way, but <clears throat> I've only had the nicest ones, but I wouldn't have a problem with it. I literally don't have a problem with it. Let's chat, because I, I want to know yours, too, just to be honest. Like, let's, yeah. let's put them all out on the paper. Like, come on, we both need to do it, and I need to see them prick your skin like they about to prick my <laughs> See? King Twan said, I would if we having sex after. <laughs> Rhyme and Reason said, yeah, but we not about to call it a date. Twan said, got my paperwork. And that was it. Okay. Um, this last one right here, it came, it literally came from a friend of mine. And I literally said, I would not use no names or nothing. I'm going to just tell the story. I'm going to try to paraphrase it in a way. Um, Let's. I'm trying to find something uh, 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 that somebody could use. Okay, imagine you get into like, let's say something like a book club, just to make it simple. Imagine you get into a book club with a group of people, and uh, you know you kind of become cordial with a couple, you know, couple of people this and third. You become kind of friendly. Um, within two years of you joining this book club. Um, the person, you find out the person have cancer and the person end up passing away. Um, the person used to come with their husband all the time and he knows everybody in the book club and y'all kind of associate, hang out. Y'all were cordial or almost friends. A couple of years after the person passed, the husband was still coming to the book club and the husband seemed to be flirting with some of the ladies, or at least the lady felt that way. And she kind of felt like that's kind of creepy because your wife just died and we were cool. I told her I didn't see the issue because you and the wife wasn't necessarily friends. But I'm going to ask you, T, do you feel like after a death, you can date somebody that you were cordial with, X, or are they off limits? <laughs> <laughs> you be honest? I need you to be a hundred percent honest. Yeah, I can do it. I don't see no problem with it. I'll probably be 
at the film room picking out who I want. <laughs> Cousin look good as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. And then he uh, was going to the book club too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So he, he grew fond of people, you know? He let some time pass. It wasn't a book club, but it was a, it was a situation where they met. Well, I'm just like saying because you said like book club, so I yeah, used yeah. the book club. Mm -hmm. He grew fond of whoever it was, and I don't see nothing wrong with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shit. Tasha, you met this woman in the book club, her and her husband. Y'all became cool, cordial, so-and-so. A -so. Um, couple of years after she passed, the husband's hitting on you. How would you have replied? I would have, like, I would have, if, you know, I yeah, your wife <laughs> Probably, I don't know. But if I'm not interested in him, I wouldn't, you know, try to pursue it. But his wife passed away. Like, the man needs to date. Like, you know, <laughs> just be single his his whole life. Like, yeah, let's hang out. Like, you know, let's get to know each other. She passed Sorry for the She passed away. Like, ain't nothing... <laughs> Ain't no coming back from that. Like, she ain't popping up. You know, this man, you don't know how long they've been together. Like, let him live. Like, his life shouldn't be over just because his wife passed away. But more so, I think more so how she and felt he could, was... Anybody in that group. That's his business. Right. He could talk to anybody in the group, too. That's his business. Like, I wouldn't be concerned. I wouldn't care. But these were, been... your wife, these were your wife's friends and associates. <laughs> Woman is gone. <laughs> 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 we can do like okay. she not she's not here, and he may feel comfortable in that circle because of the fact that those were her friends, and he probably know from her how good of the uh, person some of these people were. You know, she could have talked talk to him in the bed. Yes, yeah, such such is good person, whatever. Okay, see if she lived real good. Yeah. And I'm talking to she. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel let me let me just say this: If I was the past and we was in some type of group setting with some dudes, and I'm looking around this joint, and my wife decided to date one of the dudes out of the book club, I think I would have a problem with that because I feel like there's millions of people in this world. Go find them. Why do you date these same <laughs> dudes that literally look me in my face and shit my hand? I don't know. It's still different. But you dead. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. Oh, he may have, feel like he got a bond with them because of the fact that they knew his wife. I mean, right, a lot of I to a lot of relationships with my mom. You know, as people I knew because I was like, hey, they knew her. We can relate. We can talk about her. You know, it may be a little creepy, but he may be doing it, you know, his <laughs> wife. <laughs> um, I just, I mean, I just, sometimes I just feel like we, I, I'm just like, why we got to all always go back to, like, people we know, this, that, and third. At safe, some point, I'm a habit. Hmm? Do it all the it's time. a safe space. It's, it's, it's it's safe familiar with it. It happens often. Let me say this. Um, an ex I had years ago, and I remember when me and her broke up, she, she, she was from out of town, and she was staying here. She most so, one of the main reasons why she stayed here was because of me. When we broke up, even though she had a job she loved and everything, she moved back to her hometown. Her hometown. And when me and her talked later, and she was like, you know, people were like, don't leave this and third by. And she said, I'm not going to be alone but I can't see me dating nobody in D.C. knowing he's here. Like, it's, it's just not what... She, she literally moved all the way back on because she's like, I can't see me dating nobody here knowing he's here. It's like, to her, she felt like she would be disrespectful. And I told her, you motherfucking right. It's like, no. Nah. <laughs> but I digress. I digress. <laughs> they say something in the comments? Nothing. Okay, so y'all know what time it is. It's time for the Dating 101 card game. These are definitely some great cards to have, some great cards to get. These are some great cards to literally take on your first date. I feel like these are the greatest cards on your first date. The second ones, 
I really the ones when you really want to get intense. Siobhan done a wonderful job on these when she actually said these questions. But the third is when you're your mate ready to get it in. I feel like in light of it being Valentine's Day. I feel like it's Valentine's Day. I feel like it's Valentine's Day and I think because I'm, I'm like, listen, and all y'all who got y'all made out there and y'all want to spice it up for Valentine's Day, you know, hit me up. I can bring them to you. This is definitely the deck to have for tomorrow. And, you know, possibly all. Oh, these are the sexy ones. So I felt like I should do these cards today. Um, I'm going to, I said I, I would do two since I'm really pushing them for the day and tomorrow, you know. So I'm going to start with this one. Tasha. How do you feel? What do you think about being handcuffed doing sex? I've never had, like, this is my first time with these cards. <laughs> I, I don't mind restraints. I don't. I, I have no issue with restraints. I have suggested restraints. So I don't have an issue with restraints. So no. Okay. <laughs> she gave, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> T. I already know this. Dude. How do you feel about what are your thoughts about handcuffs? I don't mind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we we've had many shows. We did these calls. I mean, that's not really the question. But if y'all been watching the podcast, y'all know me. I'm probably I'm the outgoing one and all that. I'm with all that stuff. So handcuffs. Okay. Go ahead. You know, I'll be a slut. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever you need to be. I'll be it. It's, it's fine. Ah, um, I, I don't have a problem with handcuffing somebody. I have a problem with <laughs> I don't want you to put the right handcuffs on me. I, I'm with, I, can, I can agree with Tasha. I probably wouldn't have a problem with restraints. Like, you know, a silk scarf or something. Maybe one hand, whatever. I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. Long as you ain't trying to tickle my feet or nothing like that, but I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. But handcuffs, yeah, other restraints, I probably would be cool with. Okay, next card. T, how often would you like sex in a relationship? Um, as often as I want it. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> What we talking about? Daily, weekly, monthly, like daily. what? Daily. Okay. I take it daily. Yeah. I want it daily. Okay. Tasha, uh, how often would you like sex in a committed relationship? If we stay together, I would like it daily. Um, if we don't stay together. You know about the strength. <laughs> talk about the good ones but let me keep my mouth shut um, <laughs> um it would have to be consistent it can't be like even though like I had had a lot of long distance relationships that was one thing that I hated is that mm. like I gotta wait but no <laughs> or if I had a choice I would prefer daily okay um in a consistent relationship yeah definitely daily Definitely, definitely that near every day as much as possible. It all depends how it goes. I, I got a stressful job, but of course, when we have time alone, yeah, I think think as often as we possibly can manage. <laughs> what they say in the comments, T before I get off. Um Ryan Reason said crack the fuck up at uh sexy the sexy ones. Um she also said handcuff me. Southern Bill said, No, nah, I need my hands free. <laughs> Southern Bell sound like she's ready to fight in the bedroom. Like, stop lying. <laughs> but again, go over to Dating 101 Car Game and get your Dating 101 Car Game. These are great conversations, great starters, great party starters for the first one. The second one is great when you're getting intense with somebody you need, meet. And, of course, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Hit me up. Those are my favorite cards. Of course, cards. these. Huh? Those are my favorite cards. 
Of course, of course. But of course, y'all can get y'all some at Daily 101 Park, uh, Daily 101 Card Game. Of course, you can hit me up and I'll definitely bring you a dad. Yeah, we thank y'all for, you know, hanging with us, laughing, commenting, and everything. We won't be doing it next week. Unfortunately, I'm going to be out of town. I wanted to go to Mardi Gras, so basically I'm going. I, I just said it, you know. So basically, I'm going to Mardi Gras. Thank you for Disaster Date in 101. Y'all can check her podcast out. Go over, like her page, follow. She, she had, you can listen to her podcast on, where they can find your podcast at? Everywhere. All strength, major strength. Networks, uh, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Audible, anywhere that you can play a podcast. <laughs> yes, yes. So go over there and get your listen to the podcast. They actually funny. They hilarious. She done a live one this week. I want y'all to go like and share her podcast. Like I do everybody else stuff. You know. Thank y'all. We'll see y'all the week after next, man. Enjoy. Peace.